In this video, we present WeedNet, a framework for dense semantic weed classification using multispectral images and MAVs for smart farming. A DJI Mavic flies over our experimental field with a four band multispectral camera. Although this camera can capture up to four bands, we consider only NIR and red channels due to difficulties in registering images from other bands. The graph illustrates the reflectance of each band for healthy and sick plants and soil. We collect three types of data sets from the controlled sugar beet farm crop only in yellow weed only in green, and mixed in red color. This image shows the normalized difference vegetation index, or NDVI, of our controlled field. Greener colors indicate higher NDVI reflectance, corresponding to healthier plants. This 3D reconstruction shows how the test farm is cultivated for qualitative visual inspection. The right column of the field only contains crops, since we apply the maximum amount of herbicide here. The middle column contains crops and weeds. There are only weeds in the leftmost column since no herbicide was applied. Now we have collected three data sets. After the data collection, we extract NDVI from crop only and weed only datasets to create a training dataset. First, the red and NIR images are fed into an image alignment module. Then, NDVI is calculated using the equation above the figure. Finally, boundary detection is performed over the extracted NDVI using an intensity histogram clustering algorithm. Now, we have three datasets, crop only, weed only, and mixed, as shown in the picture. For the first two datasets, we performed automated vegetation detection to generate training datasets as shown before. For the mixed crop weed dataset, unfortunately, we have to perform manual annotation since NDVI cannot properly distinguish between crop and weed plants. The labeling procedure is very labor intensive due to its pixel wise nature and ambiguities between the two classes. On average, annotating one image takes about one hour and we annotated 30 images for model testing. Considering aligned NIR, red, and NDVI images, we have 90 testing images in total. In this project, we retain the original SegNet architecture, an encoder-decoder cascaded dense semantic segmentation framework. This network consists of 26 convolution layers, followed by ReLU activation and 5 max pooling for the encoder, and 5 upsampling for the decoder linked with pooling indices. The modifications we made are twofold. First, the frequency of appearance for each class is adapted based on our training dataset for better class balancing. Second, we added input layer to concatenate any number of input channels. The network output on the right shows the pixel-wise class probability in different colors. Blue corresponds to the background. Red and green represent crop and weed, respectively. For quantitative study, we use two performance metrics, F1 score and area under the curve, AUC. 90 testing images with ground truth are used for all model performance evaluations. We train six models with variable conditions such as the number of input channels and whether fine-tuning is performed or not. F1 score is completed for each class, background, crop, and weed. Overall, the six models achieved reasonably high accuracy, with the three-channel model in dark blue and two-channel model in yellow, slightly outperforming the others. For the three-channel model, we also consider the AUC metric for quantitative evaluation, as shown in the figure. It can be seen there are small performance variations compared to the F1 score. However, as these measures capture different classifier properties, they cannot be directly compared. For qualitative study, we show results for short and long prediction sequences. These frames show the short sequence. 
One can pause the video for a comparison of ground truth, labeled GT, against our network output, labeled PREDICT. The NIR, RED, and NDVI channels are the input to the network. Although our long sequence doesn't have ground truth, the network output shows reasonable qualitative performance. Please pause and play the video if necessary. It can be seen that the model produces poor results due to scale variations between crops and weeds. The multispectral images, in addition to training and testing data, are available from our webpage.